Hey guys, what's up? Nadia Vizi here with you. And today I'm so excited because I'm about to share with you the five mistakes to avoid when you first start your own online business. So if you are a newbie or if you're just starting out, just pay attention for, for, to what I'm about to say because you're gonna find some valuable, valuable information. So you can avoid to, to, to make the same mistakes I made in my, during my journey, my online journey. So the mistake number one is be real. So the first mistake I made when I first started is just I was pretending to be someone else. You know, when you uh, find um, advertisements online and you find videos online, most of the time you see people that are just uh, driving Lamborghini, how to say, uh, shooting videos in beautiful villas and like showing off this amazing lifestyle but then in reality they are broke exactly like when you understand that you have to be yourself you have to be real you know people think that if you show off you get results but you know what like if you are real if you if you are being yourself the results they will come because people they trust real people they don't trust fake and perfectionists this was also like another mistake that i was doing like when i first started everything has to be perfect you know uh, the background had to be perfect the what i what a, what a, <laughs> you see what i was saying had to be perfect but right now i understood that nobody's perfect except the nature. The nature is the only thing in this, in this world that is perfect, right? So I understood that, like the mistake I was making, it was that even if I was making one word, even if I was misspelling one word, I would stop the video and I would start again. But now I realized that, and you know, to take like maybe five minutes video, it took me maybe two days because every time there was something that was not perfect. and. This was the, the number one mistake I made when I first started. And now you know that you don't have to be perfect to start. You don't, and you have to be yourself. You have to be real. Like you going to attract the people that they're more, um, how to say, they, they, will, they will be attracted with you. They're going to they're gonna be, they're going to resonate, resonate with you. So number one, be real be real be yourself so number two procrastination oh my god procrastination was also one of my big obstacles that i found during my journey you know every day i was so good at finding excuses like every single day you know i started out and i and i thought that i had to be super perfect again that's why i was like okay i still don't have this so maybe i'm gonna start tomorrow and then the day after i was like you know what uh, maybe yeah maybe i'm planning everything i'm writing everything down okay i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say that and then i'm like okay now it's too late there is no light there is no i don't have the microphone so i was buying the microphone i was buying the camera i was buying the the the, the whiteboard I was buying different tools, but in reality, I knew it deep inside that they were just excuses. You know, I was just waiting and like just procrastinating. And this was one of my big, biggest um, mistake that I made during my journey. And, you know, I want you to know that in, in the, in, just because you know that if you've been through the same, uh, how to say, the same uh, mentality of like um, waiting or being perfect or all these things now you know that it's part of the process you know when I when I used to shoot videos I didn't like myself I didn't like my voice I didn't like to see to watch again my videos but the more you do it the more you get used to it and and then you see that the more you do it the more you do it and then it becomes more easy easy and more natural third mistake so be the product of the product with that what i mean that when you start your your online business whatever is you're doing like e-commerce network marketing affiliate marketing whatever you're doing 
like you have to be the product of the product so you have to test the product yourself first so think about it if you don't test yourself the product how can you suggest the product to someone else like what feeling can you put when you when you talk about what are you promoting or selling or providing what sensation emotion how did how can you explain something that you never tried yourself first so third mistake to avoid is just use the product or use the service first before to promote to someone else this was also one of the mistakes that i made because just to like in the beginning just to make some buck i was like okay i'm gonna promote this i remember when i started network marketing it was like the best product in the supplements so all these juices and all these things and then i was without even trying and testing the products I was just calling like, first of all, friends and family that in some way they hated me, of course. And, you know, I was just selling them stuff and they felt that like they felt that I was really not doing something for them, but I was doing something for myself. So they felt this invisible energy. And of course they were not trusting me. You know, when you try the product, if you like it, if you are the first one to believe in the product or in the service or in whatever, in whatever is it that you're doing, if you are the first one that you believe in it, then you can share your emotions, your opinions, your, you can share your experience. And that's different that from selling. You know, you're just sharing something that you tried, you like, and then you, you really like, want to have someone else to enjoy the same results right so in the online business um, mistake number four is building a list like the mistake is, is like not building a list so what you should be doing is like building you should be uh, building a list so there are different um, different softwares to do that but the mistake that most marketers, most people, they are doing it is they are not taking the information of their customers. You know, when a customer buy from you, like from whatever you're selling, whatever you're promoting, whatever you're offering, like you have to build a list. In this way, you can have control of your online business. You know, when someone is buying from you means that they have they have interest in, in, in what you have to, to offer to them, right? So what if you can take their email list and then email them when you have something to offer to them? Now, don't make like the sub mistake, I don't know how to say, but still like when you're building a list, you know, there are some people that they are just emailing and spamming like other people's um, email, email, email list, email uh, addresses, sorry about that. So don't just send emails like every day, every day, every day, every day, every hour. You know, I got some, I signed up for some newsletters and I was receiving emails almost every hour. You know, like we already receive a lot of emails. So we don't want to receive like a ton of email every single day. Just send emails to your contact list only when you have to provide some value, only when you have something good to offer to them. And what you have to do is like build the list. You know, if you are new in this business, you know that in, um, in the marketing world, the, there is the saying that money is in the list. And this is true because when you build the list, you have a, a pool, you have a, um, um, how to say, um, like a number of people, a list of people that they're interested in what you have to, to offer to them. So when you create this list, they become part of your community. They, they in some way, they, they were attracted to you or, or, or to what you have to offer. So once you build that, you can have free traffic. So you can send all the offers and all the value that you can possibly give completely for free. So Mistake to avoid is not building a list. Mistake, mistake number four. 
last mistake that is like I just left it uh, as last uh, mistake because I think it's also is one of the important one. So number five is you have to provide value before to think about the money. Now, I know that a lot of you, I was like that in the beginning. I just wanted money, 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 money. You know, money is super important, but it only comes after you provide value to your people. You know, if you have a skill, if you know something that some other people, they don't know, they, they're not gonna, they, they're gonna be willing to pay you to solve the, their problem to help them to do something that you already did and they don't know how to do it. You know, once you provide value first, so you give them valuable information, you give them something that they, they're gonna be like, wow, this is what I needed. And you know, and you think about them first. So you, you give them that value, that, that mm, thing that they didn't know how to do it. It's all about, uh, it's, it's also about awareness. You don't know how to do something until you, until you learn how to do something. You don't know what you don't know, right? So once you know how to do that, it becomes super easy. And you have to learn to, to provide value first before to think about the money. Money is just the consequence. But don't, mis don't misunderstand that money is the cause. Money is the consequence. Once you provide value first, money it comes to you because of the, the the service of the product that you are offering or providing to your to your customers right so this is this is the five mistakes to avoid when you're first starting your own online business and i would say that this this can be applicable also to all offline business so whatever you do in your life like online offline Avoid these five mistakes because this is going to bring your life and business to the next level.